Hello, little readers, and welcome to another episode of Read Aloud with Me, TMKC. Today's book is Happy Valentine's Day, Mouse, by Laura Numeroff and Felicia Bond. Let's get to it. Happy Valentine's Day, Mouse. It says glue, safe, dries fast and strong. Mouse is making valentines for his friends. He wants each one to be just right. <laughs> the calendar says make cards. He loves Pig because she's a good dancer. Tappity tap tap tap. Tappity tap tap tap. <laughs> That's the card he made for Pig. So sweet. Moo Mouse loves Moose because he's such a good artist. Wow. Look at little mouse. <laughs> wow. Moose is amazing. He loves cat because he's so strong. Wow. This card says champ. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of stuff that Cat is carrying. And Dog, because he's always happy to see his friends. Yay! Oh, look at that. So cute. We've got cat, rabbit, moose, pig, mouse. Aww. Who do you think that's supposed to be? Maybe dog. He loves Bunny because she's the best at hide and seek. <laughs> Oh, I see Mouse up in a tree. But where's Bunny? <gasps> I think I see Bunny. She really is good at hide and seek, huh? Oh, look, even the little Valentine's heart is hiding. That's so clever, Mouse. <clears throat> and Fox, even though she's not. <laughs> oh, that's a wonderful little card. Oh, and Fox, so silly. Oops, there we go. Mouse can't wait to give out his valentines. Wow. Mouse is really good at making valentines. That's a lot of Valentine's Day cards. He's got a lot of people he wants to express his love to. So thoughtful. Who's at the door? <laughs> oh. Happy Valentine's Day, Mouse. Oh, all his. 
his friend showed up and guess what they brought for Mouse? They each brought a cookie, his favorite. Oh, so happy. It's nice to have friends that care. The end. And it says, for Neil, happy Valentine's Day to all my friends. Munch, munch, crunch, crunch. The end. Thanks for reading with me, TMKC. Today's book was Happy Valentine's Day, Mouse by Laura Numeroff and Felicia Bond. I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. And if it's not Valentine's Day, I hope you have a wonderful day. But if this is a bedtime story, I want you to tuck those blankets up tight Get snuggled in and have sweet dreams, little reader. Bye-bye.